your boy Nisi coming back with another booze. I have a tutorial here today on the channel. So today I wanted to talk about the Waves MV2, a couple of different alternative ways and methods that I like to use to get present vocals. So if you guys do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, we're trying to get the 10K subscribers. Let's get it, let go. So let's get to the music right now. And if y'all want to support the channel, check the links down below uh, to check the presets and the courses. All right, let's go. The way I'm feeling, I can't let it fade You something different, hope you feel the same Hold up, I'm out here thinking about a way rain Ain't tripping, I can't let you get away No, babe, can you stand the rain? Get you loving up on your worst day, okay Baby, don't you change Unconditional, baby, swear that's always Take time, make wine based on you Hey, love, hey, not deja vu Say like, hey, right all come through May I, may I love on you Picture me sliding Now I picture us gliding You the type to catch a flight We flying Tonight if you want to, girl I don't really wanna stay home Let's go slow all right, really dope, really dope song that we have right here. So usually when it comes to like singing vocals and stuff like that, usually they, they kind of need some help to cut through the beat because it's kind of like he's singing over a rap beat. You feel me? That's kind of like a hip hop type of beat, especially the modern R&B type of beats. They have a lot of low end to it. So when I think of singers that vocals naturally cut through the mix, there's only like a couple of them, in my opinion, like Tina Turner, uh, Whitney Houston, uh, Barry White. And Teddy Pendergrass is the, the type of vocals I think. There's certain people that their vocals just sound so ah when they're singing. But most people when they're singing though, their vocals have like a light. Da, 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 it it kind of lacks power. It lacks that handbrake in the ground. You feel me? It lacks that pole. You feel me? That support pole, that flag pole to keep it straight, solid into the to the to the to the ground of the beat. You feel me? Root it down. Okay, so that's the thing about it. It's all about trying to add solidity and presence, right? So the very first plugin that I usually think about is uh, Waves MV2. But it's like uh, the concept of the, this plugin that I'm trying to get across to y'all. You know, the 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 using the up and the down type of compression. So that's what it does. It uses like a, a low level. So it brings all the low level detail up and it takes the high level and it brings it down. It reminds me of something like a waffle press or a pancake press. You know when people making pancakes, right? In order to make it more solid, you feel me? They, they fill up the, the the little, you know, whatever gizmo with the uh, pancake batter and they, tsh, they press it down and you feel me? Then they flip it on the other side and press it down even more. So all that pressing is added this, this this thickness and this weight and this solidity to that pancake that you about to bust down on you feel me so that's why i wanted to talk about this concept up up and downwards uh compression another uh plugin that's kind of like having that same uh, method of gaining presence through up and downwards compression is something like uh the you know like the dolby and the dbx 160 uh, i mean the 180 uh encoder so this is like one of those situations too where back in the day to reduce that noise on that that tape hiss and everything like that they had like a, the dolby and the dbx 180 uh kind of do like noise suppression it was like expanding the, the the master fader and then compressing it too and encoding and all that stuff like that so i use kind of like those plugins together, uh, that upwards and that downwards together to bring more solidity to the vocal. Hey, hey, the way I'm feeling, I can't let it fade. You something different, hope you feel the same. Hold up, I'm out here thinking about a way rain. Ain't tripping, I can't let you get away. No, babe, can you stand the rain? Get you loving up on your worst day, okay? Baby, don't you change. Unconditional, baby, swear that's all. Take time, make wine based on you Hey, love, hey, not deja vu Say like, hey, right, all come and another great thing too is when you're using like maybe like a parallel compressor, you might want to pick something with a transformer. You know, it's all about being strategic on that parallel compressor. Like, okay, what is the vocal actually missing? Is it missing some pepper and onion and a little bit of, you know, kind of like garlic? You got to understand what are the ingredients miss missing in the dish. You can't just throw on more seasoning just to throw on more seasoning. And if you're a chef, you like a, a engineer is being like a chef, you feel me? You got to figure out what are the missing ingredients that are going to make this vocal complete. So I said, okay, cool. He's singing. I know people who sing they might lack a little bit of that low chest tone okay boom went with the 76 because that's what the transformers do you know transformers they add low mid density that mv2 is boosting up all that body it's boosting up all that booty you feel me the cheeks is coming out of the, uh, the, the 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 compressor and stuff like that the parallel compression so another great plugin that i like to use is the ozone clarity right this is the same exact thing 
versus where uh, Waves Envy 2 is like wide band. It's doing the pancake, the waffle press on the entire vocal versus where the uh, Ozone 11 Clarity, it's doing it only like on these bands specifically. So it's a little bit more selective, right? And this is a great preset I love to use, lead vocal presence. So it's kind of like doing upwards. Uh, it knows where the harshness is at. So it's not trying to boost the harshness, it's ducking the harshness and, you know, um, bringing up the level of the good stuff. You feel me? So let's listen to it. The way I'm feeling, I can't let it fade You something different, hope you feel the same Hold up, I'm out here thinking about a way to rain Ain't tripping, I can't let you get away No pain, can you stand the rain? Get you loving up on your worst day, okay Baby, don't you change Unconditional, baby, swear that's always Take time, make wine, place, don't you Hey, love, hey, now, deja vu Say like, hey, right I like to use that plugin very, very subtly because once you know you got the amount a little too high, it starts swinging back and forth a little bit too much. Like uh, you know, like when you at the park and you on the swing and everything like that, it starts swinging back a little bit um too hard. So I only like to use a little bit, like a DB or here to swing towards the end. But you hear it's very good. I think a plugin kind of reminds me of Golf Foss a little bit. But it has a certain sound to it. But great, great, great for them lead vocals, bro. You know, it really does. It starts pushing up the good stuff and uh, tucking down the uh, harshness, right? So uh, another great way to get vocal presence, too, is, like, understanding components. Like, I understood the transformer going to give me the body. That's why I picked the 1176 on purpose. Okay, boom. You know, sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring out, like, an API 2500. I'll put it on analog to get the saturation and not even do no compression at all. Just understanding like sometimes just allowing a vocal to walk through those doors, those double doors into a compressor without being compressed in itself is gonna juice it up a little bit. Hey, hey, the way I'm feeling, I can't let it fade. You something different, hope you feel the same. Hold up, I'm out here thinking about a way to rain. Ain't tripping, I can't let you get away. No pain, can you stand the rain? You loving up on your worst day, okay Baby, don't you change Unconditional, baby, swear that's always Take time, make wine based on you Hey, love, hey, now deja vu Say like, hey, right so yeah, being strategic, using some of the analog model plugins that you got on your shelf that you probably never touch at all, and just using it as a saturator. Another great trick I like to do too is with the SSLE to get more presence. I like to just open up a SSLE channel and boom, let the threshold open up the whole way. And that in itself kind of gives it like a mid-range type of push to the vocal. Hey, hey, the way I'm feeling, I can't let it fade. You something different, hope you feel the same. Hold up, I'm out here thinking about a way to rain Ain't tripping, I can't let you get away No pain, can you stand the rain? Get you loving up on your worst day, okay Baby, don't you change Unconditional, baby, swear that's always it's, ve it's very, very, very subtle, but these are the type of things that when you're like towards the end, the very end of the vocal chain, and you don't just want to dramatically change the haircut and the look of the vocal, you would kind of do like those type of subtle things too, right? And uh, very last way, very last way, I want to show you guys how I like to achieve presence, especially when I'm mixing with a two-track beat and some vocals. I like to use like a little bit of multi-band saturation. And, you know, you could just copy this preset. I like to use like the Ozone Exciter too and just kind of like saturate my mid-range a little bit more, saturate just a tippity, tippity, tippy, a iodine droplet of high end too, you feel me? And uh, yeah, this in itself kind of just takes the whole mid range of the mix and pushes it forward, making everything a little bit in your face. Hey, hey, the way I'm feeling, I can't let it fade. You something different, hope you feel the same. Hold up, I'm out here thinking about a way to rain. Ain't tripping, I can't let you get away. No pay, can you stand the rain? Get you loving up on your worst day, okay? Baby, don't you? Change. Unconditional, baby, swear that's always Take time, make wine based on you Hey, love, hey, now deja vu Say like, hey, right, all come through Hey, I'm So, you know, in a, in a sense, it's kind of like a Modern Warfare 3, you feel me? Uh, where you're getting like a collateral, you feel me? When you take that sniper and boom, you hit somebody and it kind of goes like one bullet kills two people, you feel me? So sometimes when you use saturation on your uh, master bus, you feel me, you're getting that collateral damage, you feel me, type of situation where it's touching up the beat and it's touching up the vocal at the same time. It's like 
pushing everything forward simultaneously together. So that's pretty much the end of the video uh, that I wanted to do, to do here today. I wanted to talk about that hey, Waves MV2, that concept of up and downwards you know, solidity, you feel me? So yeah, that's why, you know, I wanted to do this video specifically. It's a dope plugin, very timeless. I prefer to use it on my parallel, uh, you know, bus and everything like that on the parallel cr vocal crusher. Uh, but, you know, some dope concepts like using that that uh, Ozone 11 Clarity, really dope plugin that just specifically lets you, you feel me, like, you know, get things to cut through. And then uh, another plugin that we looked at today was using the, those those dusty, uh, you know, analog model plugins like the API 2500 and the SSL E channel, just letting it run through it in general. That in itself gives a presence. It gives a harmonic density that helps the vocals be solid. Showing you guys how we put a little saturation on that two bus to all also help everything cut through forward simultaneously so this is the end of the video here today i just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family don't forget to like comment and subscribe check the links down below to support the channel uh and don't forget to suggest more video ideas appreciate y'all now peace